In this quick video, I'm going to cover no-fly zones or locations that you shouldn't fly based on U.S. law. Uh, there may be no-fly zones in other countries as well, but again, I live in the United States, so I'm going to be showing you uh, the no-fly zones and how to find them in the United States. So there's a great resource, uh, this website called uh, Mapbox, and somebody has created a custom map for no-fly zones for drones. And the URL is www.mapbox.com slash drone slash no dash fly and on here we can see that they are maintaining a database of of no fly zones in the United States so we have major airports listed US military bases uh, the national parks they have currently banned all all drone flights within the US national parks and then TFRs and TFR stands for temporary flight restriction this would be a sporting event or some other event or location that has a temporary flight restriction meaning that you can't fly there at that time so it's a great idea to check this map if you're flying in a new place and you're not sure if uh, there's a restriction there or not or it's a great resource to consult just to see what might be in your local area and what areas to avoid so we can see here we can zoom in on the map and this red area right here is Yellowstone National Park so it's a national park and Teton National Park's right below it and of course those are no-fly zones and so it's it's outlined in red and then over here in Idaho Falls there's a regional airport so there's a five mile radius there that you should avoid flying in and then we can see out west there is a Idaho Falls nuclear training center again not a great place to fly and so you can see real quickly here uh, zooming into the area where you live what areas might be restricted for no fly zones. So I encourage you to check out this resource, see if there's any no fly zones near where you live or where you want to be flying, and we'll see you in the next lesson.